I'm Joan Epler. Please join with Dr. Gary Epler, Harvard Medical School. Dr. Epler recently discovered new brain science, and today we're going to talk about how this applies to sleep. I'm Dr. Gary Epler. I made a new brain science connection in December 2019 about transferring unhealthy thinking to healthy thinking. I call this Know Who You Are Moment by Moment. Today, we're going to apply this to sleep. This new brain science is that you can only think out of one region of your brain at a time. So know the brain region you're thinking from, and that's who you are, moment by moment. How does this apply to sleep? Managing and learning how to maintain a zero stress level is a useful background for setting up healthy sleep. Manage stress by transferring out of the amygdala anger center and that cingulate self-thinking center in a few seconds. Many people have developed a habit of not getting eight hours of sleep and have become so used to it, they don't realize the harmful effects and loss of performance, innovation, and happiness. What are the problems with not getting enough sleep? They're massive. Let's talk about chronic sleep deprivation, CSD. The harmful health effects include decreased performance, memory impairment, strained relationships, and negative social interaction, occupational injuries, and of course, automobile injuries and fatalities. Medical conditions include high blood pressure, heart disease, depression, and stroke. Less than six hours of sleep every night will shorten people's lives. Is not getting enough sleep an even bigger problem during a global crisis like the coronavirus pandemic? I was finishing my run this morning and was suddenly verbally attacked by a woman behind me screaming and was very angry. You're leaving a 20-foot trail of virus. Wear a mask. I was startled and upset because she came out of nowhere and was way too close to me. I wasn't leaving a 20-foot trail of virus. I was wearing a neck warmer over my nose and mouth, and I was even wearing gloves. My face was completely covered. What's happening to people? <laughs> this, this is unfortunate. It's happening across the country, harassing people and causing harm. It's a sad situation. And here's, here's the story. There are three ways people respond to a traumatic event. 10% of the people deal with the situation very poorly, such as your woman this morning, by being angry, angry with everyone and everything, withdrawing from the situation, and being mean to people. 80% of people respond to the situation normally. They follow the rules, be kind to people, and move on. 10% of the people are super achievers. They thrive more than any time during their lives. They rise above the situation, giving their energy and help to people, create new opportunities, and they start new businesses. The 10% angry people probably began with poor sleep habits, and crisis exacerb exacerbates the situation, decreasing performance, and innovation, and being more irritable and quick-tempered, and, as you found out, being mean to people. Be one of those 10% that thrive, or at least join up with those people, because that's where the opportunity is. How do you know if you have chronic sleep deprivation? It's simple. It's simple. Joan? You do the 10-second sleep test. What's that? It's, it's real simple. Sit quietly for 10 seconds. If you fall asleep, you flunked. This is an extremely bad sign. Your brain adenosine energy is depleted. It's gone. You have none. You have no dream sleep. You've had none. You've had no two-hour dream sleep for kindness, empathy, and positive people interaction. 
your brain is screaming out for sleep to restore that adenosine energy and obtain the dream test, dream sleep. Why do we need eight hours of sleep every night? Sleep is for the brain. We used to think that uh, the body needed it, the organ systems, the muscles. It, they, they don't need any sleep. The brain needs eight hours every night. Why? There are two reasons. First, there's an energy chemical called adenosine that's used up by the brain for thinking. Each thought you have uses up a tiny amount of adenosine. At 2,000 thoughts per hour, that's 50,000 thoughts per day. That uses a lot of adenosine, and it's all gone by the evening. Eight hours of sleep will restore it. That's what's required to replace the adenosine for the next day. That's why you don't think very well at night and make like, don't don't make any important decisions at night. You don't have any brain energy left for thinking. Everyone needs eight hours of sleep every night to recharge the brain energy. What's the second reason? Sleep is for the brain. And the second reason is that two hours of dream sleep is needed every night. This is called REM sleep. R-E-M for rapid eye movement sleep. It's during light sleep when your eyes are flickering back and forth beneath your eyelids, usually just before you wake up. The reason that eight hours of sleep are needed every night is that the REM sleep occurs during the last two hours of sleep. If you only sleep five or six hours, there's none. There's no REM sleep. Why is dream sleep so important? Bad dream sleep is for the human qualities. It's the wonderful human qualities that we all have. Kindness, empathy, and love. Everyone knows how people act without enough sleep. And without these two hours, they're irritable, short-tempered, usually unhappy, and sometimes mean, just like you found out this morning. Everyone needs eight hours of sleep every night for kindness, empathy, and love. Why do some people have trouble sleeping for eight hours? People don't think about the health consequences, and they've conditioned themselves into a habit. It's a bad habit. People often brag about only needing five hours of sleep. This is a giant mistake. They've convinced themselves it's not harmful, and they think they have more energy and can get more work done. Once again, this is totally wrong. They're only working at 60% of their performance, 60% of their efficiency, and 60% less positive relationships with others. That could have led to really improved productivity and enjoyment with those eight hours of sleep. For example, police records show that many drivers who don't pass the sobriety test they, they flunk that test, have negative blood alcohol levels, nothing to do with alcohol. They have chronic sleep deprivation. I've heard about sleep apnea. What is sleep apnea? Apnea means breathing has stopped. Sleep apnea means that people will disrupt their normal in and out breathing pattern while asleep. The pattern will be intermittently interrupted with no breathing at all, just stopped for a few seconds or even up to 30 seconds. Sometimes a person will begin breathing again with a big snorting sound. The most common type is called obstructive sleep apnea, OSA. This means the airway is closed off, usually from flabby throat muscles. The air stops coming out of the mouth, but the breathing muscles continue to expand until enough pressure is built up to open the airway. That's the sound that occurs after 20 or 30 seconds of no air coming out of the mouth. The cause of OSA, or obstructive sleep apnea, may not be known, and it does occur in families, but an increased abdominal girth <laughs> and a neck size larger than 16 inches are risk factors. The treatment often is lose weight or use a positive pressure breathing machine called CPAP. 
CPAP, CPAP, that keeps the airways open all night. There are other ways of treating OSA that may be beneficial in some situations. The diagnosis and treatment of obstructive sleep apnea needs to be done with a physician specializing in sleep disorders. What are healthy sleep habits? It's called good sleep hygiene and starts with making eight hours of sleep a top priority. Go to bed at your usual time, add eight hours and get up, not before and not after. If you need to go to bed earlier, do it if eight hours get you up too late. Do this every night of the week. An occasional late night is not hazardous and expected, and will, but will it, it'll be adjusted with the next night's eight hours of sleep. Sleeping 10 or 12 hours to catch up is not effective. It's disruptive and actually does more harm than good. Eight hours every night, not less and not more. A common reason people can't sleep is they fall asleep watching TV. They sleep for 30, 45, even an hour. We have three one-and-a-half-hour sleep cycles every night. And falling asleep for more than 10 to 15 minutes during the day disrupts these cycles, not allowing a good night's sleep. A big reason for poor sleep is also watching video clips on the phone screen, that, that bright blue screen, while in bed. This can go on for one or two hours without even knowing about it. In addition, the blue light of the screen inhibits melatonin that's released for a restful night. A 10 to 15 minute nap during the day can give you a boost of energy. I do it all the time. As long as you don't go over 15 minutes. Other habits for a good night's sleep include healthy nutrition and nothing to eat after 7 o'clock at night. An hour of exercise every morning is an excellent way to get a great night's sleep. Do you have any closing comments? Everyone needs eight hours of sleep every night. You need six hours to recharge the brain energy and two hours of dream sleep for kindness, empathy, and love. Coming soon, Dr. Gary Epler leads a class series about the new brain science, customized to your individual goals and challenges, available through Patreon. This is Joan Epler and Dr. Gary Epler closing today's segment. Next time, we'll talk about meditation. Epler.